What's up, people? Welcome to the Last Hit Point Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Lauchi. Join this week by Jamie C. Hello. Janny. Hello. And Johnny. Hello. Uh, if you haven't listened before, Last Hit Point Podcast is a gaming and entertainment podcast. Usually comes out weekly, sometimes not weekly, where we just talk bollocks about games and entertainment news. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Anyway, we'll usually start with what we've been playing slash doing. Didn't last week, if you listened last week, because it was an E3 special, but we are going to do it this week. So, who wants to go first? Jamie. I think oh, Jamie as me? well, because yeah. he's done the most. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I finished the... Did you talk about when you finished the Witcher campaign? I don't know. Did you do that? Did you address that? No, because I finished it before, just before E3. So... Uh, no spoilers, no spoilers. Yeah, we it didn't was, speak no about spoilers, what we've no done. Spoilers, no spoilers. So. It was hidden away. It was. In the E3 stuff. But no, I, I, I rushed it because obviously today is, is officially Batman Day. So I needed well, to be for ready most for people. Batman. For, for everybody. Come for on. most people that aren't me, just want to point out that as of like the start of recording, it's now quarter to eight in the evening and my fucking Batman hasn't shown up yet. Amazon! Amazon. I was off that. today to play this game, Amazon, and now it's quarter <laughs> to eight in the evening. Uh, Alright, anyway, well, carry on. Oh, I bet they ruined the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so yeah. <laughs> They're going to show up while you're doing it now. But no, I, I finished that. Um, I Since E3, I've now been playing the Fallout Shelter game that, that Bethesda came out with. Yeah. I'm really jealous that I can't play it because it's only on iOS, right? Be careful with it, man. It eats your battery and burns a hole in whatever your phone's leaning against at the time. It, the, it gets the fucking thing hot. Damn it. But maybe I shouldn't play it for so many hours on end when I should be <laughs> sleeping as well. God damn it. it, it it's, it's fun. It's addictive. At no point have I ever felt like I need to spend money on it. Um, at no point do I feel like it would have really given me an advantage in the game. It would have been more like putting a cheat code into the game if I had spent a bit of money, you know? Yeah. Uh, it could have it could have gained something, but not. I wouldn't have felt like I was achieving anything with it. It would have been silly. So I'm enjoying that. I'm I'm studying out this one man, and I'm getting every woman in the complex in the whole bunker pregnant. So that's just. That's where I'm at with that right now. <laughs> awesome sauce. I'm Wow Jelly. Do we know when it's coming out for Android? Because I do want to play it. No. Did I see something a minute ago? They're, they're working hard to get it ready or something. I don't know. I did see that a minute ago. Somewhere. Oh, come on, Bethesda. I want to play this game, but I don't have an Apple device. Oh, all right. Fuck it. No iPad? Nothing? No. No, nothing. I've only got my phone. That's it. I don't know then. But no, that was good. Um, I do recommend it. Anybody who, not necessarily even just Fallout fans, um, I've just seen it here now, Ben. It, it, within the next few months, there you go. Oh, great! The Android that, that version within, within the coming months. Well, <laughs> it'll come out in that <laughs> oh, end of summer other. drought where you've got fuck all to play. That's true. So give yourself that. <clears throat> so what I had to do though was tear myself away from it because the other thing I've done this week is I've been to an advanced screening of the new Pixar film Inside Out. Which I'm really interested to hear about because I was so confused about this film. I didn't know what was going right. on. You probably made like you could probably made that out from our brief discussion of it the other day. Yeah. But I knew nothing about it. You have to get your head around the idea that it's more like metaphorical, isn't yeah. it? Rather than it being like a literal that there aren't really these five physical emotions inside your head controlling your movements. In a sense, you're controlling their actions and it's all like i said metaphorical yeah um it's it's good fun i think the thing i take away from it is it's the most creative pixar have been since toy story one. Oh wow like that's that's the truth there for me but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best thing they've done since then it just it's the most creative it's the most fun i've had with one of their films there are better films that they've done since i'd still rate up and the toy story films but mm. um but no, this is a must. I just think it's a bit of a shame that you've got a film like Minions out this Friday, which is just going to wipe the fucking floor with this, just because two yeah. French guys say banana in funny voices. What is wrong with Minions? Like, I I don't know if I've bitched about this enough. I really, really thought that, like, uh, Gru created them in, in the Despicable Me films. I thought they were, like, one of his wacky science experiment things. And now it's like, oh yeah, they've been around since the caveman times. What? So they're Oompa Loompas, think, basically. No, I think they do allude to some idea that he had created them in the first one. Or he has the ability to clone more of them or something. 
So I don't know. I don't it's just it's weird. It's a it's a fucking strange concept to go from them being his like creation minion things. I yeah. thought that was the whole idea of them being minions. Like they were his minions. He'd created them to be his minions or whatever. But now they're an umpa lumpa like race that just live somewhere off in the Arctic or whatever. They live to serve. That's their yeah. purpose. Yeah. But they want to be minions. And they have more quotes than, like, I don't know, Gandhi. What? <laughs> what? Oh, you're on about in social media, Jenny, now. Are we... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've been wrongly quoted with lots of things. It pisses me off. Everything, even... is... Everything pisses you off. <laughs> <laughs> but more on yeah, that There's one thing I want to talk about from last week. You guys are so lucky it wasn't there. <laughs> I missed you so much last week, though, mate. You don't understand. After the yeah. recap oh. thing. Mainly because right, we... Was... We spent E3 watching it pretty much together, man. So all of my like laughs and stuff were coming from you. I wanted more of it for the podcast, but you fucking had a hot date. Weak sauce. Anyway, back to anyway. back to the movie. But no, drank. It's out in like four, four, five weeks. Nineteenth of July over here. So def- I don't see you going to the cinema to see it. To be honest. No, I, I don't. Be- I don't usually. No, I don't usually go to the cinema to watch like Pixar movies yeah. and stuff. But I always end up buying them when they come out. Like I think I've, I've bought most of them on Blu-ray, so... Just, um... Bill Hader ended up being the weakest character. And Bill uh, Hader... I love Bill Hader. He is awesome. Well, maybe, maybe that's not his fault, man. It's not his fault. It's the way they wrote his character. It's yeah. a shame. They could have utilised him for him, mm. you know? Instead, they gave him a character and added a bit of slapstick on top. Because his voice kind of suited it. And it's like... No, look at Flint Lockwood in Cloudy with a Chance. That's how you utilize Bill Hader in an animated. Yeah. And even the slapstick then did work. This was just like needless in, you know. But never mind. The rest David of the film Hader. is. It's the rest of what? 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 Should they should have used David Hader. Should he really? He does anyway. need, he does need work these days. He does. He doesn't work. <laughs> Without a thingy. Anyway, well, no, that's had feelings. What if John, John is sabotaging, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, okay. man. That's what that comes about, right? Oh my That's god, again! Three for three! <laughs> <laughs> three. <laughs> Carry on, sorry, sorry. Fucking amateur hour, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was fucking good. <laughs> oh, carry on, carry on. Now I had nothing else to say. You would oh, okay. have heard that if somebody wasn't talking over me. <laughs> All right, well, John is desperate to talk. He can go next. Go on. Oh, sorry. Um, just playing The Witcher. Sorry, and on. I played a bit of Batman this morning. <laughs> yeah. Played a little bit of Batman good. this morning, yeah? When did yours turn it? up? Yeah. When did it turn up? About 11 o'clock. For oh, fuck's sake. Mine's still not even here. Mine arrived. Same here. Do you guys have Prime? No! None of yeah, you I have I Prime except... Well, Hands up everybody who's got Prime. I have Prime. I have Prime. Where is yeah. it, eh? <laughs> so Prime just guarantees you don't get it. And, yeah. <laughs> and you pay the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well be called Amazon Mug. <laughs> You're not kidding, man. <laughs> I got a free trial. I still don't use it. Oh, man. It sucks. Anyway, how's Batman? It's good. It's definitely Batman. Definitely Batman. But that's what I wanted to hear, yeah. to be honest. It's basically Arkham City, but uh, yeah tenfold if there is a lot of the batmobile going like there's a lot of the yeah, elements using the batmobile so hopefully you like that because it's everywhere oh really see this is the thing that people will come this is pretty much the only thing they could complain about in the reviews i've noticed like yeah. oh the batmobile stuff isn't as good as the rest of it but i mean that's it's not fine. to say it's bad right i like it i actually like it and it does break up the gameplay and it is fun to use but um, I can definitely see if you don't like the Batmobile and its mechanics, you're going to be frustrated because it wants it, it wants you to use it all the time. Like there'd be you be like going along and like, like oh don't forget to bring the Batmobile and there's some like some puzzle elements used in the Batmobile that you need to you know use it to solve. So it's yeah, but it's it's fun to use, it's fun to drive, and it's yeah, it's good. Um, um, but I'm like like a few hours in, so I'm not still quite near the, uh, near the beginning. Just met Arkham Knight. It's good. It's good. Rain looks cool, sense. man. Yeah, and that's uh, that's me done. Awesome, Jenny. What have you been up to, dude? I've been waiting for fucking Batman to install all night. <laughs> I <laughs> wish I could be waiting a... for it to install. Seriously, it's taken three and a half hours, or what? maybe three hours, for everything to install. 
So basically, really? what you're telling me yeah. is, Danny, that even even if my Batman shows up whilst we're podcasting now, I'm not going to get to play it tonight because it's going to take the rest of the night to fucking install. Mine took about an hour. Yeah. Sorry. I've, sorry, that's what I've said is incredibly misleading. All right. So when I got home, I put it in and it couldn't install because there wasn't enough room. So I had to go through my fucking hard drive and delete loads of stuff. Right. Bearing in mind, it's already pretty trim as it is. Um, and that took about half an hour. But the rest of the time, it's seriously just been installing the game, the DLC, um, and the add-on packs that you get. Is Janny and Gotham now? I don't know, but um, the sound, some, what? yeah, the sound quality has just jumped off the br- ju- jumped off a bridge, man. Um, Is it just B- me? No, no. BRB one second technical difficulties. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, the audio quality is fixed for a start, so at least we can continue. Two and a half hours. How did you manage that? What is wrong with you, Jenny? You are like one of the most successful people I know, right? You have a good job and make a lot of money, and yet you've got the fucking worst internet. What's your oh problem, my God. Jenny? It, it's 23 megabytes a second. I don't actually understand why it took so long. 20... And it's hardwired. That sounds like it's bad, Jenny. It, it probably is. I don't know. Is that supposed to be good? Ask BT. I'm pay- actually ask my bank balance because that's You're what twenty point. something meg. 20, Twenty-three meg. Twenty-three a meg. I thought that was supposed to be quite. Aren't they? Decent. Aren't they like selling the praises of like hundred and fifty meg a second now everywhere? Isn't that oh, like no, that's, new that, norm? That, that, no, no. Okay, I found out yesterday. That's what Virgin have started installing uh, in Manchester as a trial, and now you can like register your postcode and stuff for, if you want. I've in. got one twenty. I think yeah, I've you... got one twenty two. That's why my Harley Quinn DLC just installed while you were gone in those five minutes. Uh... Speaking of which, during during the break, my Batman (laughs) showed up! (laughs) Hey! (laughs) (laughs) Alright, anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Mm, Maybe we're getting ripped off there. I don't know. Um, That's what my PlayStation says. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It took fucking ages anyway. Because it's taken up like 50 gigs, plus I think another three for the day one download then another one and a half for the harley quinn stuff okay so you do need a fair amount of space on your hard drive for this to work i think that's going to be a problem for me then because i i'm pretty sure my playstation 4 is nearly full um Mm. i had to delete some stuff before to download some things so maybe it's gonna pop up again sucks oh well Mm. i don't even know what i'll delete at this point no no I, i didn't know there's a lot of shit oh you'll also find out one thing is really irritating that PlayStation's doing at the moment because it screenshots every time you win a trophy mm. and puts it to your trophy list. It saves the screenshot on your hard drive, yeah. so it's just taking up loads of space. So unless you regularly oh. clear that out, that really That's seventy accumulates. kilobytes, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does accumulate. It's just a waste of space. I don't want you to should have like the a... option to turn it off, shouldn't you? I'm not. I don't want them to store on. it. If, if they if they want to do it as a thing, then fine. But I don't want them to store it on my hard drive. There should be an Just... option. Like it should have given us a choice before implementing it whether we wanted to have them save or not. But mm. I mean, what, it's just... it's a cool feature. It just would have been nice to have the option to turn it off from the get go rather than having to go in and just clean it out every now and then. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I quite like the idea as if it's part of my trophy list and it isn't just like I don't know, lost in the cloud whilst waiting for a GTA game to load up. Mm. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't want those. I mean, it's fine on my trophy list, but I don't want it on my hard drive. You know. Yeah. So just do it. Burn it into the trophies. Save it forever. Whatever. But just get rid of it straight away. I'm not going to do anything else with it. Fair play. You know. Um. But yeah. So Batman's finally installed, and now I'm wasting my time talking to you guys instead of playing it. So, wasting uh, your time. Waste it. Hate it, man. <laughs> Double thumbs uh, up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> What's up, people? Um. All right. Well. I finished Bravely Default this week, uh, a game that I had got almost all the way to the end of and then just put down for some reason. Like, I came back to it and I was like, oh, Bravely Default, I guess I'll finish it. Loaded up my save data, my characters were all, like, max level, and I only had two jobs to level up out of, like, the 20 that are in the game or something. So I finished maxing everything out, and then when I finished the game, or tried to finish the game, but rapidly got to a point where I got stuck... I hit like a brick wall and I think I was playing this when we did our E3 podcast beforehand and I was getting really pissed off. Do you remember? I was on Skype and I was like, fucking bastards. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so I hit a brick wall fight that I just couldn't get past. 
So I was like going through configurations and stuff, and I found a configuration of abilities and skills in that game that just broke it. Like, and I was really proud of myself. I was like, wow, this like has broken the game. Then I went online, and it's like commonly known. It's like everyone knows that that's just the broken combo. So I was a little bit proud that I found it myself, man, rather than going online. But yeah, there's a combo which means you just take no damage, like, and it breaks oh, right. the game, just full on breaks the game. But yeah, so I finished it using that, and I felt kind of cheap. But considering I'd owned the game for cheap. over a year and I maximized everything, like I don't feel bad about doing it. But yeah, the game ended awesomely, and it had an AR movie unlock at the end, which was like a trailer for the sequel. But it's probably the best like after credits trailer for a sequel that I've ever seen because it was a uh, augmented reality thing. I had to like move the 3DS around to like watch the trailer. It's freaking cool, man. So yeah, Bravely Default, awesome. Bravely Second is actually coming out. Uh, it might be better than Final Fantasy now. Like that game is the best. That Bravely Default is the best Final Fantasy game I've played in a long time, and it's not even a Final Fantasy game. So if you are a fan of the series or the way the series used to be, and like you don't really like the new Final Fantasy games, get into Bravely Default because that's where classic Final Fantasy has gone. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I did this week. So let's move on to the rumor game results, man. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Right. The rumor game. That's I kind fine. of fell flat here. I didn't realize no. you were going to just do that to me. That's <laughs> my bad, man. Um, if I'm gonna, I'll be completely honest with you. I was signing into my Warner Brothers account on my copy of Batman. So I, was, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We can't do podcasts when a big game is out, all right? We can. We're just going to be talking about wanting to play it the entire time, man. And do you remember we cancelled the, the week end. Witcher came out? We just didn't do yeah. one because Witcher was out. Yeah. We should have learned. <laughs> we should have learned from it. But hey, uh, right. So who's who's actually... like? I suppose, Janny, you've been on the spreadsheet and you've seen who's won, right? So you know. Um, for all intents, all intents and purposes, no. I oh, have no okay. Idea. Right, cool. Jenny, it... who do you think's won? Um, I think I've, I think I've got got a good shout. Oh, do you? Right, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right, okay. Johnny, who do you think's won? Uh, let me guess. Jamie. It's going to be right. Jenny, I reckon. But is that what you uh, think, then? Jamie. We we should we should go we should go through the questions, man, before we find. Yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah, of course. I just wanted to get your predictions on that one. But yeah, so right, we started the rumor game week one. Um. And uh, the first one was to get a new Paper Mario game. Which we didn't get. Which we didn't get. Which we did. We, we did. did. <laughs> no, we did. We got a Paper Mario game. We got Mar- definitely... Mario and Luigi Paper World, right? <laughs> or yeah, something. True. It's called Paper Jam. It. Paper Jam, that's it. It's called Mario... Paper Jam. Mario... It's Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. <laughs> and it stars Paper Mario. But is, is, is it Paper it's Mario and Paper Luigi? Mario. <laughs> I, you know, I'll, I'll concede the points, man, but I'm not happy to do so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to sum up, though, so Janny and myself, we both said yes to that. Ben and Johnny went with no on that one. Uh, yeah. Next up, we went with uh, a new Gran Turismo game. Um, we didn't get that at all, and none of us got a point on that one. I... I should have gone back and listened to how I worded it, but we did say a new Battletoads game, didn't we? Yep. I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah, yep. right, okay. So Don't try changing we all the said, word Yeah, no, no, exactly. <laughs> so I just want to clarify, because obviously we know there is a Battletoads release, but it's not new, so it doesn't it count. Means, but really. it is new. But it's not it's it's part of the rare collection, <laughs> isn't it? So it doesn't count. <laughs> no. it's, it's on a it's new on. disc. It's a, it's a remake. But we all said yes for this one anyway, didn't we? Yeah, so the, the fact so, is, with this one, we all said yes, so regardless, we would have all, it wouldn't have affected yeah. points at <laughs> all. Right. Um, uh, next, we had Shenmue 3. Uh, um, I was the only one who said yes to that. Doesn't count. I? Doesn't count. Totally doesn't. Why? They announced a Kickstarter, not a game. Yeah, but no, they've, they've announced, announced game, Shenmue 3. Idiot. Yeah, they announced the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter, not the game. No, they said the Kickstarter's nah. live now. The Kickstarter for the, for the they game. Announced, they announced they the game. They didn't just say, <laughs> we're the creators of Shenmue, and, uh, and here's a Kickstarter. I don't Jamie know. Gets the point for that. I don't yeah, know. I know. Jamie gets the point for hey, that. They said ben, they want to like make it. it. Was like, it's not like it's an unannounced, untitled project. This is it's fucking Shenmue 3, man. Yeah, all they've, right. They've I'll... got investors and shit, so they all announced right, the game. That's true. They need more money. I'll concede. It's not again. Uncharted Shenmue Jam or anything, is it? It's just... 
<laughs> I'm gonna keep doing right. this though. I'm gonna be a bastard the whole fucking quiz because I'm last. But we um... All right, carry on. <laughs> so, but no, like, did you when I came out with that one? Did you guys really just think like, fuck that? That's not happening. Of no, course. Yeah, no, I wanted sure. it to be true, but I don't know. With yeah, it's like you always ask me about cast. inside. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. You always ask me about my inside information and you think I've got connections or whatever. But in truth, I'd seen a leaked studio still put on a projector screen of three leaves falling. One had one dash through it, the next with two through it, and the third with three. It was like the blossom falling, the shenanigans. Yeah. That, like, and that was so it. you that cheated. Was, I didn't cheat. <laughs> you didn't cheat. This is just how <laughs> Jamie, this is just how Jamie <laughs> works, man. It's fine. All I gotta do is get you a game. I don't know. The thing is, I'm not supposed to be playing. Janny insisted on putting my points in the system. That's fine. Yeah, Yeah, because it makes sense. Because then we'd be able to see. It does make sense. Fair enough. All right then. Yeah. All right. Shemu Shemu Three was a thing. Uh, It's also it also managed to crash Kickstarter, which was amazing. Mm. It did straight away. I couldn't get on there for ages. Didn't it raise like two million dollars in like a ridiculous under twenty four hours? Yeah. Yeah. It was a record, I think. It's not good. But anyway, before before we move on from this, like I don't know what to think of it now because it's actually come out that they didn't need two million dollars. They actually needed ten million dollars. No, 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 no. Right. No, hang on. And now that, that's misleading. Is he, it? Is it misleading? No, yeah. He said he ten said, millions to make his dream. Yeah. Five project. million. Five million is what they need to make the game. Yeah, and is what they want, what he wants to make like with all the bells and whistles. That's so shady. True open though. world. I don't. No, it's not. It's so shady because it like everyone's already backed up to that two million, yeah, and they pass the two million, and everyone's thinking, yes, we've done it. And then he's like, actually, you know, I really wanted ten million to make the proper experience, they, the full experience. Kickstarter's always adding stretch goals. Yeah, but project. that's that's stretch goals, man. Now everyone's yeah, but... going to be thinking, oh, if we don't do it, it's going to be Shemu Light. So it's putting more pressure. On the yep. backers, on the backers that are already there. Okay, first of all, they they probably didn't realise how much, how well the Kickstarter was going to go, right? And second of all, now they can go to other investors and say, look, people want this game. This is just the people who have been bothered to sign into Kickstarter and back us right? within the first seven days. Yeah. So I reckon it will probably close about what three and a half, four maybe. Well, I don't it's know already, how progress has been. It's already sat around three and a half. No. All oh, right, and they may even close it nearer to four and a half, five. Um, th- I don't know how long it was running on for, but it's whatever. Got a month, mate. Right. So it's still like it's got a month. three weeks, yeah. Right. So I've not, I've not exactly stuck my neck on the line there, have I? But the point is, they will use whatever they get for Kickstarter to drive more invest. And it was just, first of all, just to, it's a marketing thing, but it's a smart way of going around it. Um, the only thing is, he's put a lot of pressure on himself that if the game turns out to be shit when they do raise the 10 million, then uh, <laughs> he's going to make a lot of people unhappy. Yeah. So, um, well, it's... I don't know. It, it could it could just be me being a skeptic, man. But that that's just the way that I I saw it when that came out. I was like, oh, don't know how I feel, how I feel about that. So, mm. anyway, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm not backing it. Fuck it. No, I've never <laughs> played any of them, so <laughs> I'm not bothered by it at all. We'll see. It might come out and it might be lovely, but never mind. Anyway, GTA five story DLC. Uh both Johnny and myself guessed we would get it and we didn't, so Ben and Janny would get a point Told from you. that. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a little bit of a long shot, but it was worth going for. It raised a bit of a topic and we spoke about it for a few minutes, so it definitely had some place in the podcast. For sure. Did a thing, didn't it? Yeah. It definitely <laughs> like, I could have just like, you know, I could have put in there rumor, fucking. We get a game about feminism, and we could have spoke about it for a couple of minutes. So you what it's about, yeah. You would have been. Thing. You would have been one hundred percent right as well because they're coming out left, right, and centre these days. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if there wasn't a game about feminism announced around E3 time, even if it was just an indie title for PC. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag I just want to play Tempo the elephant, man. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't wait. <laughs> Anyway, uh, um, right, and then Fallout gameplay. Uh, both Janny and myself guessed we would get it. Ben and Johnny going with the no. I said Can't no. believe I got that right. Yeah, you said, said no. no because because we didn't like the reveal trailer hadn't happened when we guessed this. The reveal trailer happened about a week before E3. Remember? So once that reveal trailer hit, it was obvious there was going to be gameplay at E3, but it's too late for us. 
We'd already sealed oh. our fate, Johnny. Damn it. Okay. Boom. It's shit. <laughs> it's worth stressing, Johnny got no points in the first round. Ah. Okay, my life. That's all right. You made up so, for it in the rounds after, mate. So it's also <laughs> worth mentioning we're looking for a new co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Johnny, are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did I win? Come back when you got internet, yeah? Right. <laughs> anyway, we went week two. Uh, we were looking for a new Metroid game. Um, we did get a new Metroid game, Janny. We both said yes, yes to that. Yes, we did. It's Johnny, not. Com- didn't we it's Jane, <laughs> argue, Johnny. Just fan the fucking flames. Right. But it's a Metroid game. Isn't no, it? It's, it's, it's something else with Metroid's name slapped on it, man. No! Does it's it have so... a Metroid in the title? Is it a Metroid title? <laughs> it's fucking terrible. <laughs> What's it called? What's the game called? Uh, Metroid Prime Federations of something cock loneliness. I don't know. Okay. See, Do you it want, can just you repeat that first word? Of cock loneliness, man. But they slap Metroid on cock. it to make it. Sound. Yeah, Metroid Prime. Yeah, Metroid. Is it called Metroid? It's called Metroid. Yeah, it's got Metroid in it. Yeah, it's a new it's Metroid, Metroid title. Yeah, yeah, it's a new Metroid one. Yeah, this is Metroid World. There you go. <laughs> right. Anyway, but that's that one. Um, I've seen a lot of hate for this online now. It's a shame, isn't it? I'm not. I'm not surprised. We spoke about that last week, though, didn't we? People trying to just boycott the game from being made. No, that's fucking, fucking yeah. stupid. Just grow up, yeah. yeah. Like, fucking what? What did it. they expect? I, I, like, this is the third time we've said it now, but Nintendo do not know how to make Metroid anymore. Do not expect them to make a good Metroid game. They won't. Just like lower all expeditions. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> Just don't give a shit anymore. And then they might actually make something other than an Iwata puppet staring at a fucking banana. But. Uh... <laughs> Every bit of credit from that segment they did can just be given to Henson Studios, though. So yep. what's the point? There's yeah, nothing true. to do with Nintendo there. That's all about that's all about Henson. So there we go. But anyway, that's what happened. What happened today, Ben, with the PS4? Uh, oh, um, the, I'm so annoyed by this. The official announcement of the one terabyte PlayStation 4. Yeah. That came today, not at E3. Yeah, no, 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 that's why I'm saying it doesn't count. No, we were talking about a price cut for the PS4. That's what we which did. Which wasn't uh, announced. Which Johnny uh, no. was the only one who said no, so that's that's fine. Johnny got the point. But there yeah. was, no. I'm getting this, that confused of another one we said, which annoys me, because this one would have counted, I think. What would have counted? The Vita one. Isn't it a lighter console? Would that technically count as a, um, as a smaller as a new version? model? As a new model, it is technically a new model. Yeah, it is. Not, no, that was the Vita though. So what we did? Oh, oh God, getting it all mixed up now. We did PS4 price cut. Only Johnny said no, we won't get that, and he was right. And then with the new Vita model, you all said no. So it's fine. Never mind. Yeah. Fuck you now. I did this rumor game, and I put down Crackdown to get a release in 2015. It's not going to happen. They just didn't even bother showing the game there either. They kept it. Yeah. Coming to Gamescom and all that. So no Crackdown release date announced. We didn't get any Minecraft story mode either. We all thought we would. Um, none of that. And we got the new Doom, which Dead. looked amazing. Only Janny said no to that. Um, I was the only one who said Crackdown, didn't I? No, we all said... Oh, yeah, no, sorry. You said no to Crackdown getting a date, so you got the point there. I see what you mean. Yeah. 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 Give, me, give me credit where it's due. And then <laughs> down where I'm wrong. You're a Jew. <laughs> But no, that's <laughs> that's that round. That one was quite level. I think um, nobody fucking got anything really in that one. Fucking oh. bullshit. We're rubbish at this game. Um, <laughs> week three, yeah. I oh, I threw it in there just for the shits and giggles. Uh, Nintendo, a concept of the new console. Of course they weren't going to fucking do anything about that. Of course they weren't. What Fuck were the off. answers for that one? Well, everybody said no apart from me. Then obviously. Okay, cool. Um. Bear in mind, all of mine are just yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. Yeah. All the way down. Sony. Do it. Last Guardian. Only Ben said no to that one. Yeah, they they proved me wrong. Still not going to come out, though, ever. No. It doesn't matter. Was it a no? <laughs> There'll be a Last Guardian Kickstarter. Yeah, <laughs> that'll happen. <laughs> the game's already made, but we need a Kickstarter to show that you really want it. Just run out of money through the box art. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think 10 million will cover that. A new Gears of War, we got it. Gears of 4, we got Gears of 4, didn't we? Oh, got it. Right. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. A new Gears of War, is that what the question said? 
Yeah. Yes. We got we got Gears Four. It dropped the other. No. One. They, also, <laughs> they also called it Gears of War Four. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, Why would wrong. you argue against that? You said yes. Did I? Yes. I don't care. No, it's not, it's not going to be there. What? Why you got to be All a right. dick? Go on, carry on. We'll do uh, this. Uh, by the way, Ben, I think in the last podcast you said that they dropped the um, war, the uh, uh, war bit. You said it's just called Gears Four. It's it's just called Gears Four, isn't it? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty certain it's it said. At Gears the end of the trailer, it said Gears Four. It didn't say of war. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. Oh, I didn't watch the trailer. Everyone else has been calling it Gears of War 4, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's nah, you're fucking not. Who cares? Form. It's Gears of War 4, yeah. It's it is. blatantly Gears of War 4. An appearance from Cliffy B. Did uh, anybody actually watch the appearance from Cliffy B? We got it. No. No. What no, was that? Fuck. It was, he was at the PC gaming show. But was that... Okay. He was on stage. He was on stage. It was part of the whole thing, yeah. Did we all so, say yes or no? We all said Yes. Oh, okay. Yes! So, 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 yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? So, um, Johnny was the only one who said no to Skyrim coming to the new consoles. Good, uh, good shout. I, I, this one I genuinely thought we would get, but we got Dishonored instead. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> there are some games. <laughs> fucking hell. Anyway, and then last but not least, a new IP from EA. Which Janny said no to. I'm still fuming at this. Why? Fuming. Why? Because EA, honestly, EA have had no development in that game whatsoever. What they've done is they've, they're, they're just, ah, oh, they're doing. I nothing didn't say. Well, I didn't say if they had to publish it or develop it. Just yeah, I know, and that's what really annoys me. <laughs> they're just publishing it. They are they've a publisher no inf- more than a they developer. They've done nothing with it. It's not like, oh, I don't know. I can't even think about. I, I was just furious of this it's a cheap it's a cheap victory for all of you on that one. <laughs> what are you on about <laughs> it's no cheap victory in a room again it's no cheaper than that fucking metroid bollocks daddy <laughs> <You all right? laughs> That's got, at least it's got metroid in the title well this is such a this is a new ip what's the difference all, all ea have done oh, okay we'll just we'll just stamp ea on the bottom cover all down they here did was stamp metroid on that random game daddy it's the same it's the fucking it's still same. for nintendo <laughs> <laughs> EA, this, this is, is basically the game has, has come across someone's desk and they've just signed it and then passed it on. Yeah. They've done nothing to it. They they probably gave some public some marketing money towards it. There you go. Oh, they did. Oh, here we go. I that guy, he was shaking beats. like fuck because they were going to shoot him if if uh, the game got no, a bad He was shaking reception. like fuck because he was <laughs> yeah, an actual sniper developer. He's he a sniper. Why? He actually he was, cared about uh, his game. Yeah, but EA don't. They just want to know about money. All companies just want to know about money, man. They're going to kill. They want to know about Pele. They do. Anyway. Just want to know about Pele. <laughs> yeah, but if, <laughs> otherwise their whole thing would have just been sports. Oh, and Mirror's Edge. Yeah, oh, pretty much. And yeah, Battlefront, which is the game that everyone wanted to see this year. Yeah, but if it's using the um, the uh, Battlefield system, it's going to be poo. No, it won't. It'll be good, <laughs> man. What is your problem? It's going to be good, Jenny. <laughs> It's gonna be fucking good. <laughs> because Battlefield Four was so good. It was. It was. It good. was so good. That game that people still talk it's about good. now. It's good now that they fixed a load of stuff in it. It was a bit broken at launch, but it was a good game. All the Battlefield games have been pretty good. Mm. I, I, I've enjoyed them. Yeah. Apart from Battlefield Four, which was broken when it came out, <laughs> right? But it's better now, so well, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It was rubbish. Just admit, it was rubbish. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, is that was that all of the questions? That was all of that the questions. It. All right. So, Are point to round up totals. week by week. Really long this out. No, I don't want to. I don't want to make this go any longer. It's dying on its feet, Danny. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! I didn't contest every single point, Ben. Look, um, I'm sat at the bottom. All right, I'll do what the fuck I like. <laughs> in last place. No, 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 I'm going to do, I'm going to start this awkwardly. I'm going to start with my points. Um, so, no, there's a reason. So there are 18 questions. Uh, obviously, mine just defaulted to yes all the way down. Yeah. I, I got nine of them. Oh, wow. So that's a half. That's half, man. 50% yeah? ratio, man. It's not bad. On my proper guessing. Yeah. So that's that's all right. 
you know, it's like I said, some of them were just far out there. We probably weren't going to see them worth a go. But anyway, so with that in mind, then last place is Ben, of course. Fucking horses. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you just reading no. this left to right? How many did I actually get? What were my what was my points? You ended with seven. <laughs> yeah. Seven. So oh. in the first week, in the first week, you guessed that we wouldn't get the GTA story DLC. That's the only point you got in the first week. <laughs> uh, in week two, you said we wouldn't get a Vita and that we would get a new Doom. So you got those two. Awesome. And then in the last week, you got we wouldn't get the new console from Nintendo. Uh, the new gears, the appearance from Cliffy, and the new IP from EA. So you got four in the last week. Cool. So wow. you did all right. You awesome. did all right. Still shitter than me, but you did all right. <laughs> <sighs> Johnny. Yeah. Do you think you beat Janny? No. <laughs> Would you, have you looked at it now, Janny, or are you still oblivious? Do you know? I don't understand. Um. <laughs> He's looking oh, at it did... right now. <laughs> Jan, did you win last... Danny won last year, didn't he? I think he did, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. done it again. Fuck you, yeah. bastard! <laughs> yeah, fuck you guys. Right. Johnny and I got criticised last year for being well. too critical. Really? Johnny's on nine points along with me. Um, so, Oof. Johnny, you scored nothing in the first week. Oh, you scored three in the second week. But in the third week, you cleaned house with all six points. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. That's that, that saved you, that one, right at the end yeah. there. Um, so it kept you joint second. But Janny, so you just one point above. Um, oh, it's so close. You know, like last last year you played it safe and you were down the middle. We had that maybe column a lot of the time and you were kind of just down the middle and it, it prevailed. Really? I thought, yeah. I thought it was because I was like saying no, no, and you guys were like, oh, come on. And then it turns out I was right and nothing turned up at E3 last year. <laughs> I think you had I a lot of maybes. And those. It was negative remember. regardless. But you could be yeah. negative saying yes as well, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is shit. But no, that's it, man. You're the you're the defending and reigning champion now, two years on the show. Yes. Chart. I'm flexing so muscles here. You guys can't see this. Johnny had the first year, and uh, yeah. you've had the, the, the next two in a row. So well done. Officially set himself up as the one to beat, man, in E3, E3 rumor games going forwards. Oh, set, my man. God. I am the fountain of all knowledge. I well, didn't even read one, <laughs> one point more than you guys. <laughs> Can games I retire conference. now as reigning champion? <laughs> Double reigning champion. <laughs> Bastard. Double rainbow. <laughs> what I'd like to do, though, before we before we really move away and just finish with E3, mm. can yeah. we just take a moment to absorb Janny's hate? And just oh, get his opinion. Man. Because can we I have missed a little it rant once? about something. Yeah, Please go for it, man. Right, because it's about. Uh, I've read a hell of a lot of article, articles saying about why Microsoft won E3 based on one thing and one thing only. Sick, right, man. and and it is a backwards compatibility that I've got the biggest right. problem. Okay, that's that's not that's not why they right. won, but they did win. Right, just no, no, <laughs> seriously, seriously. If you type in, if you type in uh, E3 2015, something the lines of Xbox One um, backwards compatibility. That mo- most of the articles will say that they won it based on that, and um, to be frank, I think it's a bit late. Um, having played, the, and the, the, this is the reason: having played on the what was it, PlayStation Now, yeah, um, and playing Bioshock Infinite. Now that was that was one of the last games, when well, one of the true blockbusters to come out before the PS4, uh, PS3 sort of ceased development in that sense like yeah. all the games shifted across so this is the one where to be all singing all dancing i mean it used the unreal engine um i think i'm sort of out of my death here. anyway yeah, the yeah. point is it has not aged very well at all and it's only what i think it was 2012 am i right yeah. 2012 it came out so we're talking three years it's a game that's three years old it doesn't look good to, to today's standards right so First of all, it's it's about what a year and a half, two years too late. Uh, about a year and a half too late because it can they, the console came out November 2013. I actually agree with you here, Danny. I right? think it. I think it's yep. a feature that should have been there a couple of years back. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not going to have it from day one, don't have it at all. And the other thing is, whoa. Well, yeah, I don't know about yeah, that. I can, I, I can <laughs> argue back. No, no, no. Yeah. no do, do you want to know why? How many games are you no. actually going to play? Well, no. How many games of the, it's of, uh, still, it's still a feature that adds value to your purchase, though. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, but to who? 
but uh, all the dedicated fans who ploughed thousands of pounds into the last so, gen have moved, have upgraded, and uh, got rid well, of the rest of the game for twenty p. Here's here's my problem, right? I still look at my Nino Kuni case, and I think, man, I I could really play Nino Kuni right about now. But I gave away my PlayStation 3, so I, I can't play it. I've still okay. got the game, but I can't play it. If I had backwards compatibility added tomorrow, I probably would play it. Do you remember the Xbox 360 had the backwards compatibility? Yeah. Do you remember that? Right. How many games did you play from the original Xbox One? I played few, Knights of the Old Republic. Was, yeah. I played Knights of the Old Republic 2. I played Psychonauts. Fable. I played Fable, Lost Chapters. I played quite a few, mate. Probably the I'm probably a bad person to ask that. To is it, no, no, no more, I asked you for is a this reason. because we utilised it more than you did? Then maybe. No, no, I'm so, no. What I'm saying here is there's a handful of games from a massive back catalogue, and it's sort sort of the ones you would have put a lot of hours in anyway previously. If um, if I'm being honest, mate, the whole point behind this there's there's a reason for this. The reason why it shocked everybody is because Microsoft put a lot of man hours into developing this this. Uh, for the system to be able to take it, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But I don't understand the reasons why they've. They, it's it's not going to give them any money. People wanted it, man. But have they? they? Want, yeah, but they wanted it though. Have they charged me to have this new feature on the console? No, but it's cost them a hell of a lot of money to put it on there. That's something. That's them. Yeah, that's it, them, man. It, there, there's no. That's it's them not adding... been detrimental to me at all. Like They're, it's actually but... it's adding something for yep. me at no cost. But do, you, do you guys still have your Xbox 360 games? Or nope. did, do you, like, uh, I've still got them? games, but then I own so many digital ones. I am sat here fucking desperate to play World of Kefling, Super Meat Boy, all of those again. And I'm waiting for this to go live. Like I'm getting put on the preview program now so that I can do it sooner rather than later. I can't wait. Mm. I can't wait. Like, I want to go back. I know Viva Piñata is going to be on the Rare collection, but still I might want to just go back and play that now. And You know, like there are so many games. Red Dead Redemption has been voted the most anticipated game, the one they want more than anything to go over because that game stands the test of time and is a great game to go back to. Yeah. But at the moment, is it most of the games that they've got very early releases? Well, it's everything that they can license at the moment and then everything else, it's down to the other publishers to agree to it and so on. I I read that, but I have a feeling it may be something else. And I think it's because based on the 360 structure, they were probably they're the early titles, so therefore they'd probably be the easiest ones to code. I th- have a feeling they may end up having a lot of problems with the later game, uh, later games, because then the architecture of the console changed slightly as well. Um, um I, d- I d- maybe getting a bit too technical here, it's, but well, no, the, whatever. The difference between the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 is way less than the difference between the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3. Like the oh, PS4 yeah, no, is no. like almost completely different, whereas the Xbox One is more of just like every it's fundamentally the same just everything's better like it runs the same sort of coding system right. as and the it's Xbox Blu-ray 360 now. well yeah uh, that as well. i think you might be over simple because a lot of people have read i mean somebody called it a miracle i don't i wouldn't say it's a miracle but um i don't know to me it just sounds it's going to be something that everybody's talking about now and about a year or so's time or a year and a half or when it a year and a half after it's been released I can't, I can't imagine people will be paying much attention to it. I mean, I've been playing Witcher, GTA, those sort of games, which... Well, they, I, there's, there's another know, one for you right but, there, right? Hang on. Witcher 3 came out. Witcher 3 has been really, really big, right? But I bet a load of people didn't play Witcher 2, which they probably will be able to do soon via that backwards compatibility, because Witcher but 2 did why, come out on Xbox 360. Yeah, but why would you... I don't know. To me it's like graphically it's not like you're going to be playing for the games it'll be it'll be mainly for nostalgic reasons you're not going to buy a ps uh, an xbox one go into a shop and go oh actually i'll go buy the previous iteration of the witcher because i enjoyed I d- Witcher 3 I, so much. I might do you never know if i if i went into like buy an xbox one now or i, well, I guess it's not confirmed that witcher 2 is compatible but in a world where that was compatible if i went to buy an xbox one and witcher 3 then I might just pick up a copy of Witcher 2 as well, like just so that I could play both of them. Mm. I don't know. To me, it just I just think it's going to be one of these things where, yeah, it's nice to have, but in the grand scheme of things, you're going to be too busy playing everything else. And also, it kind of sort of... To me, it's two fingers up to a lot of players as well who've, like, say, games like Ow! Sleeping Dogs. <laughs> no, yeah. uh, all right. What about all these HD remakes, right, that are coming out 
They yeah. were on the previous gen that a lot of people still have, or st- would have had. That's and now they've, the they may have been... Is it not? No. Who's licensing no, the game? No, that's not to do with them, no. That's, that's the companies that are releasing HD re-releases, man. I guess this, in, in essence, what Microsoft is doing is throwing their fingers up to those companies. Like, you want to sell your re-releases? Well, we're adding backwards compatibility, fuckers. Like... What, and, and then again, it comes down money. to that publisher to decide if they want to let their game yeah. be, you know, to deal with that game coming over. Oh, the way you have to see... Go on, then. No, no, no. Carry on, mate. Well, I was, all I was going to say is you're talking about it like it's a middle finger up to the to the people playing now. If this was to be implemented in for launch, would it have delayed the console's launch? That's a potential problem. Now, was this ever promised pre-launch? No, it was never spoken of and they... They never said you'll be able to play your 360 games. You don't go into a new console with that as a guarantee. You go into it with that being a nice perk if it's available. Yeah. So the Did people who bought it, Xbox it, One so at launch, no, they've ne- they never said they would be doing that at launch. They never said fact, you'll be able to play before, it. Before before it came out, they said it was impossible. They said it can't yeah. be done. So basically, so, pre Phil Spencer era, we were dealt a lot of shit, and that's not his fault. He is putting the company right. So when this console launched. Who bought the console? The people that were hardcore loyal fans who had the money, those who were ready to go up to next gen. There are still people who aren't ready to go up to next gen. Maybe they haven't been able to afford it. Maybe they've been waiting for the right time. They have a massive library of games. Their console might be on their last legs. They might be looking to, they might only have room under the TV for one. You know, there's, these are added bonuses now that I'm not getting charged for the privilege of. And Basically, I, I, it's. I get that. No, no, don't get me wrong. I get all that. But. I, don't forget, I had I had a 360 as well. I had several because I kept fucking dying, but I had them. I had a massive backlog of games. When I found out the Xbox One was not going to be backwards compatible and the PS4, it came down to price on the two consoles, right? Had I been that dedicated and decided to go for the Xbox One, I'd have spent a hundred quid more, whatever it was, for a Connect, which which they've now removed and is no longer a compulsory purchase. So I'd have spent a hundred quid more on a console that I didn't have a lot of value for side by side and then found out that having got rid of all my games and everything else and or given it away to somebody else who could actually enjoy it that I could have still played all my games or, or I could still play some of my games okay I could I, see to me it's be, just a yeah. bit I, I don't know it, it's just a bit I can see your point here mate we, we all agree that it's, a li- it, it's definitely late they should have been hit there at launch like, without a doubt but but this is my it's point. I, I, I just didn't. I just don't know why they bothered. If they, if it's not going to be there for launch, the games are get, the games are always going to get older, and they're going to look more I mean, crude. It's still relatively and... new in its life cycle, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still only a year and a half. So, yeah. so. But this is like the... you're saying. You're saying you can trade all your old games in. That's Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo never take that into consideration. They that's don't. not their business. As far as a company. Of one of those three is concerned. When you buy a game, that's it. You own it forever. They don't deal with trade-ins. They're, they actually no, no, hate I, that sort like, of thing. But I like, gave most of my games away. It's the same because... as getting angry. If you bought a game today and then it went in PlayStation Plus tomorrow, it's the same as getting angry about that. No, but when they said that they can't be done, both of them said it can't be done. The architecture is too, too, too complex. Yeah, we all had a bitch and yeah. a moan about uh, it. But be... then we got over it. To be fair, and then Microsoft I mean, got a new guy, and they he said you'll fucking do it. Yeah, well, no, here's the thing, right? We were fed a lot of bullshit before, pre pre Phil Spencer. Microsoft was shady as fuck. Oh, you remember, yeah. you remember they tried doing the whole always online, like yep. um, nev- you can't trade in your games, all of that stuff, and then everyone like there was that massive backlash, and then Phil Spencer took over, and then everything's been getting better since. It's just been nothing but improvements. So the chances of that um, it's impossible statement from before the launch being true is kind of like up in the air. Like they could have been just feeding us bullshit. So I I don't know about that one. But I I came back around to it last year and that, you know, it coincided with Phil Spencer and the new move that they were making. I think it's changed. It's been a good 12 months. Mm. Did you, do you know, there's only, there's only one thing I can see that Sony can actually come out of this with any, can actually combat it in any shape or form. Otherwise, they sort season of... two of powers. <laughs> sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no. De- ge- being genuinely serious, the only way they they can actually even compete on this level, then. So, say it is a game changer for sake of argument. The only way, because they've already said they can't do it on the PS4, like categorically said, it's impossible. Yeah. Um, 
or it's just in, really incredibly difficult. The only way they can do it is if they have your digital li library that you can you can um, so with the PlayStation Now that you can access it all for free. Uh, this is my own ignorance. Here. I'm not sure if you actually can at the moment or not. But if they unlocked all of that, so you don't have to like rent them again. If that the, makes sense. The only way, the only way that they could actually like compete with this now in the position that they're at is with folding PlayStation Now into your PlayStation Plus subscription. So if you had access to PlayStation Now games for free, as long as you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, right, that would completely counter their back no, no. compatibility, yeah, right? Let's face it, they're not, they're not going to do that. But of what course they, could they won't. Do, but what they could do, your digital library of PS3 games that you've been connecting on a monthly basis, for sake of argument, if they unlock those games on PlayStation Now, so you've already got them, you know, you've already got the, the um, digital copy of it. Yeah. You can just log into PlayStation Now and play those games. That's the only way they can even compete with this. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they find a way of doing that. Also, like, just maybe it, instead of having it rent, rent on a case-by-case -case basis, right? Like, pay money to rent a specific title for a specific amount of time. Make PlayStation Now a subscription service. Don't charge astronomical amounts for it. Make it very reasonably priced so that every PlayStation 4 owner will want to use it. Then open it up to everyone that way. And then you've pretty much covered your backwards compatibility issue because they can just do it all through PlayStation now. It will never happen though, Janny. It will never happen. Like, Microsoft has the one up on this one and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think it's great. Great that they've actually managed to do it. I just question the timing it's taken and the hype around it. Um, anyway, cause... back back to your original statement, mate. Right, that isn't the reason that they won E3, but they did win E3, man. There's nothing. No, I didn't. I didn't watch it, so I can't. I can't say whether I can't, their I can't conference. Their conference was very, very smooth, very straightforward. There was no real bullshit in there. It was just games, games, games all the way through, man. The way a conference at E3 should be. It was like an example of the way a conference should be held. But in fairness, they couldn't really get it much worse from before. I don't well, know. Last year, no, last year they won as well. The only thing last year they messed up on was featuring that Fantasia Connect game. Yeah. So they fucking dropped all that shit this year. And like I said earlier, they didn't do anything with Crackdown. They didn't do anything with Scalebound and Quantum Theory because... We know they're coming, and we they're know they're going to be announced know. at Gamescom, aren't they? Well, that's it. Like Gamescom isn't about new, big, shiny releases. It's about knowing what's already in development and carrying it on. So E3 is about reveals and stuff. So they just left those to the side. They had they, enough without that. They also gave me quite a few laughs whenever an Xbox One exclusive came up, and they had Master, <laughs> Master Chief going Xbox exclusive every time. Man. It was a bit desperate, wasn't it? It was, but it was funny, so I could let it go. Mm. Why not? Man? I have to admit, I, I was kind of underwhelmed but in E3 if, in general. If, but... if we're being honest, Jenny, the conference, obviously, the conference that got me the most hyped was PlayStation because of the Final Fantasy VII announcement. But that is the Thank only you. thing. Yeah, well, that was in the Squeenix <laughs> conference, man. Both of yeah. them got me super, super fucking hyped. But taken as a whole. The, the, those conferences, especially the Squeenix one, which was the fucking worst, right? Um, they, we're not a patch on Microsoft's overall conference, man. That's why. That's why I say they won the conference, but not like it wasn't the thing that got me the most hyped. Like objectively speaking, I thought they had the best one though. Mm. I, I have to say I, I didn't see it, so I couldn't. I can't say I didn't. Really, I don't think I saw Sony's either. It might have just been Squares. You only play squares. You definitely Jesus. watch. You definitely well, no, watch. Because Sony's was at like stupid o'clock in the morning, wasn't it? It oh, no. was, yeah. yeah. It was like yeah, yeah, so I wouldn't have watched you, that. You yeah, saw so EA with us, didn't you? You saw and EA. Yeah. So, you you didn't, did, you didn't watch about... Square, did you? Yeah, yeah I think, I I think it was between Danny. 4 and 8 o'clock or something. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, has anybody come away with a game of show? Game of show? Ooh. <sighs> Damn, I want to say Cuphead, man. I really do, because they just looked fucking awesome. But it's got to be Kingdom Hearts 3, man, for me. It's, it's really? got to be. Very that cool. gameplay, oh my god. I just, it did I look good. Wait, man. And the yeah. Tangled world. Fucking Tangled, are you kidding me? It's like my favourite Disney film. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they put a lot of focus on that being in there as well. 
trying to mm, appease yeah. other markets. But then no, that did look good. Johnny, did you come away with anything? Or... I, the one that picked my interest the most was For Honor. Really? Yeah, I'm actually. I really want to try it. I think it looks pretty fun. And doesn't surprise me to hear you're interested, though. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very, very cool. And um, I was watching some more like gameplay videos on it, and yeah, super interested. But overall, I think I was most impressed by Uncharted 4 gameplay. Because like, I mean, yeah, the other Uncharted I've enjoyed, but I always thought there was something lacking. Um, I think it was just like the linear sort of style, but this one seems to be a bit more open, and I can really appreciate that. Mm. So yeah, I was pretty impressed. Still a corridor racer. Corridor Probably. Racer like <laughs> yeah. ja- um, well, I, I think it, it has to be said, I was quite intrigued by um, when they were talking about the Tomb Raider and the textures and how they're making like Lara become more lifelike. Mm. Um, yeah. I found that really in, in, interesting, but I have to admit, my uh, fanboyism came up with Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, um, obviously yeah. that's the best thing ever. But I suppose when you think about it, it it probably we probably should have expected it because um, a Realm Reborn is is now running as well as it can be. Final Fantasy Fifteen is almost out. Um, I suppose it's the next big project, which is going to make them a shitload of money. Let's face it. It really will. Um, that that project you know, will just it will cost a lot. You, but it will literally print money, even if the bad, game is complete bad, poo. The amount yeah, of fanboys that are going to buy matter. that on day one. Like, especially they, if they put out some ridiculous collector's edition, because I'll fucking buy that. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, I, 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 I'm one. really excited for that. Considering the first time I actually played the game was what 2010. Yeah, um, and because of Crisis Core. <laughs> I, see, I, I'm so I'm so I'm I'm proud of the game though, man. Considering like the first time you played Final Fantasy VII was that late, and you still liked it, right? Mm, like yep. that many years after the fact when it was that dated really is a testament to how good it fucking was mm-hmm. actually can I admit my biggest disappointment must have been Forza For- yeah yeah, because <laughs> they had weather effects but they're not dynamic and I'm sorry when you got a game like Project Cars which probably has about what half the budget of what Turn 10 has and come out with something like that to me it just screams sloppiness like they, they should have had weather in what were they up to now? Is it that was Forza Six? This this is where we've got to, man. Like racing games are pretty much, and they're an art form now. Everyone can make a racing game, so it's everything except the racing that people give a fuck about. Like what yeah. is that? What it's is about that making weather, it man? feel? What it's is that damage of physics? <laughs> like put it this way, Drive Club for for all its problems. I I remember when I first started playing it, I could just see the reflection of the light through the window and seeing the reflection of the dashboard on the window. All right, it's. It wasn't the smoothest of things, but it was a really cool thing. That's what happens when you drive. It was like being in that, you know, it felt like it was getting close to feeling like in a car. Yeah. Um, and Project Cars has taken it to a new level. And then it seems Forza is just a step back. <clears throat> like, you know, you can you can have shiny, shiny, good looking cars. Fine. Gran Turismo has done that for years. But I don't know. I think the I dynamic weather is where it's where it's going to be won on this generation. And Mate, the draw, the draw for Forza obviously is making your car look like Towley from South Park, man. Or it's for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All See, I care about is the editor, man. That's it. So... You mentioned oh, you um, just... Project Cars in there as well. They've announced Project, Project Cars, Cars two sequel. Kickstarter today. Yeah, ten it's ten million that. they're looking for. Oh, for that's just to get Shenmue in. <laughs> it seems to be a it seems to be a magic number now, doesn't it? Ten million pounds. Have to get a yellow forklift drivable in the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I suppose the other shout out goes to the South Park because that that title. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I was gonna say. In terms of reveals, this conference, I was a bit disappointed. Nothing. There wasn't a lot in terms of new announcements. Like Cuphead was last year, so that was that is my game of show. But I already like that last year you know and no man's sky if we don't get it fucking soon it's just going to drop off the map but that still is exciting but then to have yeah to have the new south park that's that's good that's Mm. good it's gonna be a good time i'm quite interested in this horizon i'm hoping it's got something going on with it wait which is that that gorilla's new game brave meets enslaved yeah it's gorilla isn't no yeah it's gorilla yeah with a a little a little tasty dash of monster hunter thrown in there as well but yeah there we go but yeah, so that's that's exciting. I'm looking forward to that. So like, but then that could completely go off the map. 
as well. That could just be blown out and be rubbish. Yeah, well, we... Killzone Shadow 4 looked good before it came out. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was dog shit. So... But, you know, all credit to a new, to a, somebody wanting to try something new. You know, Definitely. They've given, us, they've given us fucking Killzone for so long. Speaking do of it. which, you bastards, you had me good and proper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's your own fault for not watching the conferences, Janny. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a job to do. <laughs> Just to elaborate, Janny wasn't watching the Microsoft conference, and we all were, and we decided that we're going to fucking troll him and say that <laughs> say that Gorilla came out and announced Killzone exclusive for Xbox. Now, <laughs> and he guys, fucking Janny, believed so us all the way the to, to the end. You've, you've, got the wrong, <laughs> you've got the wrong reaction that you were expecting. Well, no, because we would. We you would thought I was going to go, oh no. And I was like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, we were deciding beforehand. We were like, right, we need to lie to Jenny. We need to troll him. But what are we going to do? And I think someone threw out the idea of like Uncharted on Xbox. And I was like, no, it can't be a big franchise because otherwise he'll clock us. So I was like, let's just go with Killzone because nobody really cares about that anymore. No, and I it... said Last Guardian. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that, that wouldn't have worked either because it's too big. He would have been like, no, man. Like, he would have instantly Googled it or something. Whereas something like Killzone, I figure it's just like it's just bad enough that he won't care and he'll probably believe it. But we got the worst reaction because he was like, "I don't fucking give a shit. They can keep it." Like, fucking shit, shit yeah. Jones is dead. <laughs> That's, That's another one off of my fucking baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, to be fair, Killzone have been pumping out shit games, and so um, the franchise, uh, they just need to kill it. It was Killzone Two that we played together, wasn't it? And yep. like. Yeah, Killzone 3 I really liked as Killzone well. Killzone 3, we had a lot of that online. It was good. Yeah. In, in fact, I've, re- Shadow- I've really enjoyed the franchise up until Shadowfall, man. Shadowfall just kind of jumped the shark for me. <laughs> I'm out, mate. Stop <laughs> using jump the shark as a thing. It's not a fucking thing. Stop it. Jump the shark, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, is there anything, any, anything else anyone wants to go over? No, fuck off. No, alright, let's finish this up then, man. Wait, wait, breaking news, guys. What? Breaking news. Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition finally arrived. <laughs> what? No it's way. Just, it's just been announced. When? Here first. Game Informer. Oh an hour ago. my god. Right, so when are, we, when are we actually getting it? We've been waiting on this for like over a year, right? Uh, a rough release in October. Oh, wait. oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, so and literally a year after it's been released. <laughs> well, they needed to make up that money, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, God. All right, cool. Well, uh, if you want to get in contact with us, uh, we're on Facebook. Just search up Last Hit Point, you'll find us. We're on Twitter at last underscore HP. Uh, our individual Twitter tags will be down in the description below. And we will see everyone next time. Bye. 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 off. You know, I genuinely got excited at the idea that you could play some PS3 games through PlayStation Now if they're linked to your PlayStation Network account. I know you did, Danny. Why the fuck haven't they done that? (laughs) It's so simple. Don't don't you think it's a bit late for them to be adding it now, (laughs) Danny? Yes. No, it is true. true. But then PlayStation Now took forever to come out as well. Oh, good times.